thing we got to do is go after sympathy from the press. They're not all pushovers like that Mary Sunshine. Chicago is a tough town. Gotten so tough they shoot the girls right out from under you. <laughs> but there's one thing they cannot resist, and that is a reformed sinner. So I've decided to rewrite the story of your life. It starts tomorrow in the star. From convent to jail. Convent? Oh, Mr. Flynn will never believe that. Oh, no? Get this. Beautiful southern home. Every luxury and refinement. Parents dead, educated at the sacred heart. Fortune swept away, a runaway marriage. A lovely, innocent girl bewildered by what's happened. Young, full of life. Lonely, you are caught up in the mad world of a great city. Jazz, cabarets, liquor! Sit down. You were drawn like a moth to the flame. And now, the mad world has ceased. A butterfly crushed on the wheel. You have seen, and you are sorry. God, that's beautiful. And cut out God, too. Stay where you're better acquainted. Yeah. Now, the important thing to remember when the reporters get here is remorse, regret. You are sorry, sorry. You would gladly give your life to bring him back. And when they ask you why you killed him, all you can remember is a fearful quarrel and that he threatened your life. You can still see him coming toward you with that awful look in his eyes. And get this, you both reached for the gun. That's your grounds, self-defense. Mr. Flynn, the reporters are here. Send him in, Butch. Now remember, remorse, regret, and you both reached for the gun. Gentlemen, Miss Sunshine, it is always a pleasure to see the members of the press. You know my client, Miss Roxy Hart. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just so flattered y'all came to see me. I guess you want to know I shot the bastards. Sit down, Tommy. <laughs> Mr. Billy Flynn sings a press conference rag. Notice is off the removes. Almost. <laughs> One more start, the current of the sacred heart. When you get there, 1920, how old were you? Don't remember. Then what happened? I met Amos, and he stole my heart away, convinced me to eat up one day. Good Lord, that girl is going to wait there. It's always too terrible, you poor, poor dear. Who's Fred Kingsley? My ex-boyfriend. Let's do it all.